Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. In this video, what we're going to see is the field property that we have in some of the objects. So let's go to the application. So this is the new project and using the version 3.3, .3, service pack 1, if I'm not wrong. So what I'm going to do is to recreate a field in of the tank, a tank level. So Let's use some of the objects that we have. If we go to predefined images, we should be able to see the tanks. And in the tanks, we just need to select one of these ones. Um, let's see this one. So I'm going to put it like this. And now what I'm going to do is to use the rectangle. So I'm going to put it over here like that and put it like this okay so this is going to be the window that allow me to see what is inside uh, or the level inside so the thing that we need to do is to um, configure the visualizations of this first so um, the border is going to be black and this one is going to be uh, it was water okay something like that now in the properties we have size and location let's say the shape so here what we need to do is to select this now, you cannot see it because i'm here so here size location fill level here we just need to enable it now by default, we have these values, 100 for horizontal fill, and start from the left, and vertical fill, 100, and start from the bottom. This 100 is related to the uh, percentage that's going to be uh, filled. Okay, so if we use horizontal fill, you're going to start with 0 to 100, and this one vertical is 0 to 100, okay, in the position. It doesn't matter the size of the option. Now, in order to show you how this works, let's create two variables, one for the horizontal and the other one for the vertical. So if we go here, uh, da -da -da, variables, to create uh, tagins, build horizontal, and this one is going to be vertical, and I'm going to use da -da -da, Input range is going to be minimum zero and max 100. Uh, input range zero to 100. Good. So, what we need to do now is to link into this object on the field level those variables I have already created. So, variable. Uh, this one is horizontal, okay, and this one is a vertical. Good. So what I'm going to do now is to put this option over here and call to numeric display. Numeric display, and this is going to be the horizontal. And the other one, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, it's going to be the vertical. And I'm going to add some text over here so I can show you. We don't forget. This is going to be fill um, vertical. Let's see. Fill horizontal. Horizontal and the other one is going to be the vertical. Fill vertical. So now what we can do is to simulate this. So as soon as we simulate this, we should be able to see something here. Just move my side. Okay, good. This is the other window. So, as you can see here, if both of them is zero, 
there's nothing to show. So I'm going to select the horizontal, this part, 50%, as you can see, it's empty. Now I'm going to change the vertical, 50. As you can see here, it's using the 50% of the vertical and the 50% of the horizontal. If I use 25, you can see it decreases. And if I use the 100%, it fills a complete option that I have. So in this case, the horizontal part is going to be 100 always. And the level, we just need to be uh, related to this vertical part. So it's going to be 70 and 100. OK, so that's the deal. Now, this is good if, for example, you are receiving the signal from the PLC into the HMI and the values are from 0 to 100. So uh, that's going to be much easier. But if not, what we need to do is to create some kind of converters in order to make the scaling from the value that we have for the tank level to the 0 to 100%. So let's create a new value. Uh, let's use to do, do, do the init uh, tank level one. And I'm going to create another one tank level two. So I'm going to use this again just to use the image from here. Okay. It's going to be tank folder C tank one, tank one, and I'm going to use another one tank two. So I have two tanks, okay, and I have created two different variables. Now, what we need to do is to create converters so what we need to do is to create a, a scale converter on the scale converter what we need to do is to use c tank one just for this converter um here the we just need to define the scale that we have so for the output it's going to be zero and 100 but for the input will be the tank level so it's going to be from zero to the max level of the tank that we have for example, the first tank would be um, 200. Okay, so that's it. There's nothing else to do. You can see the maximum output 100, minimum output zero in both of them. Now, start with the C tank 2. So the other one is going to be 5000. Okay, and the rest is going to be the same. So if we go back here, I'm going to use on this rectangle number two uh, the horizontal field I'm going to use the same variable as it's going to be fixed for 100 but on the vertical I need to use a different variable so the variable that I'm going to use is going to be this one for the tank okay but the different thing here is that I need to use the converter so converter tank one okay and that's it the same for the tank number two so instead of using the value of liters i'm going to use the percentage because i'm using the converter here tank two okay so what i'm going to do now is to show you here it's going to be the liters so variable tank level one i don't want to use the converter here because i just want to visualize the level the amount of them and this one is going to be tank two the level okay so here control c control b level and now just to show you the value here for the field of the vertical part, I'm going to add 
outer C control B. I'm going to use this. I know that this rectangle is the rectangle number two, so I can access to the properties of this object. Graphic object, rectangle number two here, and I can see animation, field level, vertical fill. So I can see here the, uh, the value. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. This one is going to be number three. Number three. So if we simulate this, I believe I did everything right. So let's set the animation. All the tongues are going to be 100. Okay. The only different thing is going to be the level. Okay. So uh, here, the level. Um, the tank one, if we go to the converters, it goes for 2000 from zero to 2000. So I'm going to use 100 liters. As you can see it fills the half part. As you can see, the converter is working because it is scaled from the liters to the percentage that I want, and the max level 200, 2000. The same can be applied for this one. So, 2000, as you can see, is a different because the tank number two uses a different scale. We go from 5000. So, if I use 4000, it's almost in there. 5000, full tank. Okay. So, um, this is how you can work with the build property of the object. Okay, and directly using a variable if it's in percentage. Otherwise, what you need to do is to use the converter. So you have the level of the tank that you have that you that you want, and then you just need to use the converter in order to scale that to percentage. And there is no need to have an additional variable on the PLC with the percentage. If you want to have it, of course you can have it, but there is no need to have it. So um, this is it. How we can use the field property on the rectangle. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.